Hey everyone, this video will show you how to easily clean up your PC computer with Windows and speed it up. Windows 7 will be used in this video, but this will also help you with other versions of Windows. And if you're still using Windows 7, upgrading to Windows 8 could be a great option for you. It's really not as bad as a lot of people were saying, and it's been out for a while, and with the Windows 8.1 update, it's actually really great. And you can customize it to feel almost just like Windows 7. Now onto the guide. The first thing you're going to want to do is check your Windows update and see if you have any updates. You can find it down here in your taskbar with this little flag looking thing and open up important messages and stuff. If that's not there, you can search for it in the start menu by typing Windows update and it'll be here under programs. So I have five important updates that are available and six optional ones. You can go through and look at them, or you could just click Install Updates to just get all of them. Windows Update will check for software, driver, and security updates that your computer needs. Next, to clean your PC, the best free software is CCleaner, which you can download for free from sites like FileHippo. All you gotta do is do a search for CCleaner in Google. No space between the C and the cleaner and you'll get a list of sharing sites that you can download it from. I usually go with File Hippo. And here you can see the latest version to download right here just by clicking this button. And don't worry, it's safe. And right now it's really the most popular free cleaner out there for Windows. But anyways, once you get that downloaded and install it, it will look like this. And you'll get four tabs along the side, the cleaner, the registry, and tools and options. First we'll go over the cleaner, which is already preset to what you'll most likely need cleaned, so you don't have to mess with any of these checkboxes if you don't want to. Just click on the Analyze button down here to have CCleaner start analyzing junk stored up on your computer. The big thing here is internet browsers like to store temp files, history, cookies, and more junk that adds up real fast over time and makes your PC slow down really bad. It will also go through your Windows Explorer and system to find junk files, but really the main thing is clearing all this browser crap. And wow, I actually had almost two gigs of garbage on here. Yeah, it, it does add up pretty fast and it'll slow down your whole system. But anyways, once it's done analyzing, just click the Run Cleaner to clean it all off your computer. And it may take some time, especially the analyzing. That could take a long time depending on how much garbage you have stored up on your computer. I've run this on a bunch of people's PCs and they've had like around 40 gigs worth of garbage on there. Which really isn't good. But it is important to keep this clean. And this alone should have a noticeable effect on your computer speed. Next you can go over here and click on the registry tab. And it will scan for issues throughout your registry. This might also take a little bit of time. Now after it's done scanning for the issues, you can click on Fixed Selected, and you may want to back it up first. So just click Yes and save a file for that. And now just click on Fix All Selected Issues. There, and that's done. Now you can actually run this multiple times and it might find stuff it missed the first time. Yep, there's one, oh, well just one this time. I'm not gonna back it up again. All right, next you can go over to Tools, and the first sub tab in here is Uninstall. Now this will show all the software installed on your PC. The more apps you have installed on your computer, the slower everything will be. So you should go through this list and uninstall any software or anything that you don't use anymore, like games are a big one too. Like here, Galaxy on Fire 2. I don't even play that anymore, so I could just uninstall that. Now, if you see anything that you're not 100% sure what it is, you should probably check it out and look it up on Google first and make sure you know what you're deleting before you actually uninstall it. You don't want to uninstall anything that's important for your computer to run. And wow, yes, I have a lot of garbage on here that I don't even use anymore. So, I'll have to take some time to clean that up later. Anyways, next, click on the Startup tab, and this will show all the software that automatically starts up when you turn your computer on. The more software starting up at once during the boot up phase will make your PC take a lot longer to turn on and actually get to Windows so you can move around and do stuff. 
plus a lot of apps will automatically turn on at startup that you probably won't even be using and they will just keep running in the background slowing down your whole computer. Like the DivX media server, I do not need that to start up automatically. But it's better to open up software when you're going to need it. Mostly because you don't want it running in the background slowing you down and you don't want all this stuff to be opening at the same time. Now this part alone should help your computer incredibly. Then there's the file finder for if you're looking for a file. System restore if you need to restore to a previous restore point in Windows in case something goes terribly wrong. And here is the drive wiper. Now when you delete something on your computer it doesn't actually delete off the hard drive. Windows will just put a label on the data to make it not show up anymore. This makes Windows run smoother since it actually takes time clearing data off the hard drive. Running the data wiper, or drive wiper I mean, will go through your hard drive and wipe out and clean any data that is not being used or has been deleted. Now you can click on your drive and do a simple one pass wipe. Now there are a lot of people that say you should do multiple wipes like three passes or huh, 35, that's crazy. But they say one wipe isn't good enough that you'll still have traces of data on there and that people can actually recover. But usually one pass is good enough. You can do three if you want to be on the safe side, but I don't really think it matters that much. Plus, it takes a long time to wipe these drives, so one should be good enough for you. Also, another important thing you should do is go through your Windows Explorer and delete data that you don't need anymore. Like all these videos and stuff. The more videos, pictures, music, and other data you have stored up on your hard drive will make it take longer for Windows to find whatever data you need to bring up when you click on it whenever you're just casually using Windows. So if you have a ton of stuff on here, it's good to either get like an external hard drive or burn some DVDs with the data on it, or even get a cloud service and put all your stuff on a cloud. But external hard drives are actually dirt cheap right now, so that's a good option if you want to keep your hard drive clean on your PC's operating system. Now if you need an antivirus program, I would recommend Avast. You can just Google it, Avast, and here it is. Now Avast's free antivirus is simple to use and it doesn't slow your computer down very much and it's free. Of course there's the upgraded version that costs some money but the free version should be just great for you if you're on a budget. Now I will also have another PC noob guide video coming soon covering how to remove spyware and malware from your PC so make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss that one. Now if you did all of this and your PC is still moving really slow, it may be time for a fresh reinstall of Windows. If you still have your Windows install disks, you can get a clean install while keeping all your files. Backing up important stuff is always still recommended though. Now to restore your Windows with a fresh reinstall, you can just go to the search bar and click or type restore Windows right here. You can choose to click on advanced recovery methods and Return your computer to factory condition, which will give you a clean install, and basically make your computer run like it was when you first bought it. Now remember to run CCleaner as often as you can, because you want to keep your computer running smoothly, and that internet browsing crap, like, adds up really quick. Now like I said, external hard drives can be found for very cheap, and they're excellent for backing up your precious data, and you can also get space from a cloud service like Just Cloud. If you're interested, be sure to check out these videos for more information about those options. And if you'd like to get more than just a clean install of Windows, upgrading to Windows 8 is an excellent option and I don't think you'll regret it. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please rate the video and leave a nice comment if you're feeling friendly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get future PC noob guides and news on the latest Ultrabooks. Thanks everyone and I'll see you all later.